What can people expect in transportation in the 21st century? The age of steam launched ships which sailed the seven seas. And railways which spanned the continents. But the glory of the steam age was surpassed in the 20th century. By the automobile. And the airplane. The door-to-door -door efficiency of the automobile and its sheer convenience led to its rapid proliferation to the point today where there are too many vehicles for the available roads. The result, worldwide, is chronic congestion, bringing with it serious social problems. Among the most severe of these problems is the damage caused by harmful exhaust gases. These emissions affect our breathing, poison plant life, and harm the environment of the planet Earth in a variety of ways. There is also the problem of traffic accidents, which every year cause untold damage to life and limb. Will we have to live with these social problems of pollution and noise in the next century? Surely, what is needed now is a new transport technology to solve these existing problems. HSST, standing for High Speed Surface Transport, is a magnetically levitated, linear motor-powered transport system. HSST is a pioneer transport technology that overcomes the problems caused by friction between wheels and rails and noise pollution but provides the same carrying power of conventional railways. Conventional rail transport has significant demerits. Because it is a system based on wheels and rails, it produces noise and requires costly maintenance. Magnetic levitation systems include those using magnetic forces of either repulsion or attraction. The repulsion system is an application of the repulsion force from the like poles of the magnet. HSST is the system based on attractive magnetism and is an application of the attraction force between iron and magnets. Electromagnets are installed in the lower part of the vehicle body where it wraps round a rail. When electrical current passes through the magnet, the magnet is attracted to the rail. Left alone, the vehicle body would stick to the rail so a special sensor is installed to control and maintain a constant distance between the rail and the vehicle. The electrical magnet and the rail form a closed circuit for the magnetic force to pass through a fixed route, preventing the dispersion of the magnetic field. And as the vehicle and the rail are attracted to each other, should the vehicle stray off course, it can be smoothly restored to the right position. So much for how the vehicle body is raised. Now, how does it move forward? HSST vehicles are propelled by linear induction motors, which are, very simply, like ordinary rotary electric motors, but separated and laid out flat. An ordinary rotary motor has a coil or coils and rotors. A linear motor is created by placing the rotors on a flat surface and placing the coils on the vehicle body facing the flat surface. When electrical current is induced through the coil, the resulting force occurring between the rotor and the coil drives the vehicle forward. In the HSST, modules have been designed to provide a combination of electromagnets for levitation and linear motors for propulsion. As the modules have no wheels or moving parts, vehicle maintenance is very simple.
HSST makes use of practical and perfected technologies such as magnetic levitation and linear motor propulsion. HSST is a totally pollution-free transport system. Noise and vibration are virtually non-existent since there is no contact between vehicle and rails. And that means too there is no frictional contact causing rubber or metal dust. At speed, all that can be heard is the sound of the wind. Has a silent and non-polluting rail transport system been developed by now? HSST, with its light vehicle weight and evenly spread load distribution, differs from the concentrated loading of conventional rail systems and needs a light, slim guideway structure. Because only a small area is needed for the HSST guideway structure, construction costs are low as a consequence. Additionally, the lack of frictional contact between the vehicle and the guideway means less wear and tear and less maintenance. Operating costs are reduced too, because the linear motors, having no moving parts, also require little maintenance. 